Gentlemen, I am honored to have you with me tonight to welcome the newest member of our community. Like so many great lawmen of our day, his unbending reputation precedes him. God made laws to govern men, but without men to enforce those laws, the terrors of evil would march unmolested across the scorched plains of the earth and Salt mankind. Plain. And mankind would run amok like so many godless savages. So, raise your glasses, please. And let us thank God from Sheriff Cornelius Jackson. Cornelius Jackson. Enjoy. This is a mighty fine table, brother. Well, thank you, Hugh. It's uh, mahogany wood, all the way from British Honduras on the Caribbean Sea, south of Mexico. Huh. So, Chair. Here's your wine, please. Pass that along, please. So did you manage to, Water, uh... please. How was your ride out here this evening? Why'd you leave the Utah Territory? I am God's humble servant, sir. Where he leads, I would follow. Did you bring your wives and daughter down with you? Only one woman shares my bed, Sheriff. <laughs> Safe for that way, that's for sure. China. Own China. Imported from England. China from England. You ever fuck a sheep? <clears throat> there are lots of sheep farmers fuck their sheep. Isn't that how syphilis started? The penis is a vile weapon. And I've often thought of it as the devil's cutlass. Do you now? So, what brings you to our fine town, Sheriff Jackson? Geography. Geography. Yes, geography. Turns out our governor's favorite cousin, Lucille, went off and married this down-and-out carpenter named Levi from Tucumcari. That poor guy couldn't hit a nail over the head with a tree trunk. Well, Lucille and uh, Levi fell on hard times, so the governor tells them that they should come and live with him and his wife in Santa Fe. He'll even send train tickets. Great man, our governor. So, Lucille takes a train on up to Santa Fe, while her husband, Levi, being uh, too prideful to accept the governor's largesse of a few train tickets, decides to travel by way of a buckboard with his brother, Jacob. Only Jacob and Levi ain't no Kit Carsons. That's why I'm here. Geography. Pardon me, Sheriff, but uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Mr. Josiah knows what I'm talking about, don't you, Josie? Tables from Honduras, China from England, Salt Lake City. You know all about geography. No, I'm afraid, Sheriff. You've lost me completely. May I borrow your knife? No, no, that big one there behind you. Carry. Santa Fe. Right in the middle here, you got the Holy Land. Now, Jacob and Levi would have had to travel straight through here to get from Tucumcari to Santa Fe. All Lucille and the governor want to know is why Levi and his brother never showed up. You done with that? There's a dog outside there. Looks like he's missing a couple meals. 
Thank you kindly, Josie. Damn good meat. Sure. I lead a God-fearing, peaceful, and united community here. And I am quite sure you do not want to make me your enemy. It seems like I already have. 